Welcome, everybody. You're blessed with my presence and the absence of Bryce Tui once again. He'll be actually be here tomorrow. He just went home, wanted to see some New York fall. Hard to blame him. It's beautiful up there. Um, and spend some time with his family. So, anyways, he'll be back tomorrow. Uh, today was... I, there's nothing I can complain about today. Also, if you notice the Beyond the PDT t-shirt for any of your OGs out there, I think it's actually still up on YouTube, a couple of the videos. That is really the probably the biggest turning point in my trading career. So when I started that podcast with Bryce Tui, now we're in a studio. You know, dreams do come true. So, you know, go check it out. You can. There's some really cool uh, interviews on there of like Jack when he was like at like $100,000 in profits. Really, really old ones. Um, I'm sure we can hook you all up with the link, but I'm going to go over my trades today. Uh, just really get into it. And obviously I got home safely for anyone who watched the recap video on Friday, cocktail Friday, where Andrew made a strong old fashioned. So Sep, it would have been worse off for those of you who tried to kill me with some Everclear. So, you know, we might have to like limit some of the, your opinions on the, the choice of alcohol, but I'm just kidding. Make sure you follow us on all the socials so, so you can participate in the fun. But with that being said, let's pull up the charts here and get into it. Today was a solid day for me. Um, started out with some swings I had left over on some Bitcoin plays. They didn't turn out super great, but I was able to fill them. Um, I actually filled most of Digif right around here, like 8.3. Uh, CBTC, uh, not quite as well, but my average on this was just better. So I ended up filling on this pop actually right here. Um, and then CBTC, uh, as I announced in small cap rockets, I was like, wow, man, like, this is gonna this is gonna do it to me. So Bitcoin was strong over the weekend. It didn't break out, but it held. And for whatever reason, CBTC just decided to pull out the gate, did like this, you know, basically a Tim Bowen dip and rip on an OTC stock, broke through the key red green level, and from there it never saw, you know, just ripped. Like great, great move. Uh, and then dumped end today, which I wasn't entirely surprised by because all the other ones, like look at there was just no volume on uh dig if. Um the BT, oops, we're not even typing, BTCS actually finally started running today too. Uh, not great, but these are all ones that I will be watching super closely, especially if Bitcoin gets near or breaks over all-time highs. Anyways, I want to talk about S4, which I'm going to give Tui a shout out, even though he wasn't here today. He was the one who alerted me to this. He texted me on my way to the gym because uh, we're trying to get those gains uh, into the fall and spring of next year. Uh, I feel like I need to go back to really, to really appreciate it. Uh, we'll start. We'll start with the six month chart. So this one, uh, former runner, uh, and has been holding up very well. And Bryce texted me and was like, "Man, this daily chart looks pretty good, doesn't it?" And I was like, "You know what? You're right here. I'm gonna give you some some benefit of the doubt. I actually really like this chart a lot. So I bought some over this break on eight five uh, on my phone on the way to the gym. Um, you know, went to the gym for the day and I ended up actually selling this right into this perk here on my way home from the gym uh, for that 4,400 bucks. That was most, I think this one was like 3,800. So it was most of my day actually was on this SFOR, just a very textbook OTC breakout chart. One that I will continue to be watching, uh, especially if it pulls like a CBTC type move out of the gate tomorrow. That's really what I'm looking for here. Um, but yeah. Textbook day in OTC land. Didn't really trade any listeds. It was a good day. Money Monday. Um, and the rest of the week, like, you know my plan. I've been talking about it for months. Make a watch list. Focus on it. Stick with it. If there's a play in the morning, take it. You know, S4. You know, just basically told you roughly what I was looking for on S4. A lot more details will come in the small cap rocket room along with my other um, watches. But, you know, for those of you. For the dedicated ones who made it through this video, I appreciate you. S4 is a good watch. Um, yeah, sticking to the plan. If it's not there in that first 30 hour, 30 minutes, hour of the day, just move on. Uh, come back, scan again in the afternoon, see what's there. If there's nothing there, don't force it, right? We're not in that market where there's just endless plays anymore. You need to be very strategic. Um, that's what I'm doing. I'm being very strategic. I'm trying to find the plays, nailing them when they're there. Um, and I'll find them on my scanner in the afternoon if they're not but I need to go in with a plan. I can't just be like, woo, and just do whatever I want anymore. That's just not the game plan. That's not what's working right now. I'm sure many of you are seeing that as well. So yeah, that's all I got today for the small cap recap. Thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the Beyond the PDT. Um, I'm sure we can do something with those, Andrew, on Stocks Trade, some like throwback videos or something.
That'd be that'd be cool. Yeah. All right. We'll we'll make it happen. Um, I don't think there's any videos though because that's when like I was like fully techno dumb. So I think it's mostly just audio, unfortunately. But maybe we can work with it because it's really cool to see just the evolution of all the traders I interviewed. I definitely selected some good ones as I was trying to get the calls because like everyone we interviewed is like crazy successful now. So, you know, we all weren't here once. So if any of you are out there watching and you can relate to any of those beyond the PT videos, that's awesome. But anyways, like, subscribe, follow stocks straight everywhere. Thank you for watching and I'll see y'all tomorrow with Bryce Dewey. So, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching the whole thing and being part of the Stock Straight community. We wouldn't be here without all of you. So if you have not already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Our goal at Stock Straight is to reach 100,000 YouTube subscribers by the end of the year. So if you like the content we're putting out and you wanna hear more, please, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.